Liquid can do. And I mean, I'm glad Dust brought it up. This is something that can still uh, that can still come into play. Is that this used to be a very, very, very good map for not only just Nitro individually, but for Liquid on a whole. This used to be a home map, so they can get back to it if they can remember some of that. Let's see if Complexity can continue or start the way they started versus G2 earlier on this morning at Northern Arena. Presented by Bell here, it is Cash. You do have Android, Ape, Def, Surreal, and Uber already split up towards the Ape site, and it is clear. So Liquid looking to play the retake, and it's going to be the easy plan. Maybe not yet. Android's the first to fall, and the bomb is still actually at Forklift. It's traded out at least by Def on a tip pimp at Z. So it's back on a 4-4, four and four, and now there's the information. Hiko's going to take down Def, and Def's going to say there's three CTs there. Just go for the plant. Yeah, that's a, that's a big mistake that it took so long for the bomb to get planted, and this is actually read very well by Liquid doing the retake. This is a tactic that I know a lot of pros tell me is very, very popular when they play the rank S bugs, and then they play just uh, 10 man scrims among the professionals that split onto the A bomb set up highway. And right now, Liquid is just swarming back into this site. Surreal takes him a while to get that kill. That might be the death of him, but Elise misses some shots. Here comes Hiko, though, down into a two on one. Elise is so low, and he's protecting the bomb. Hiko's going to have to get off this. He does have a kit, and he's got the time, and he's got the headshot. That's going to be the pistol round for Liquid. A well executed retake, but they get bailed out by how long that bomb took to go down, and a couple picks before it does eventually get planted. Still a very nice try, though, for the remaining players of complexity at that plant. I mean, it was a four to a situation on top of that, Surreal did whatever he can. When you're coming in two guys close at quad like that, and especially one of them having one HP, it wasn't a shot that had to be missed there by Uber, but unfortunately there, nice shot by uh, Hiko baiting out uh, Surreal coming through by going with that fake defuse and puts it up uh, one nothing on the scoreboard, but at the same time, you said it, it was still a bit too slow to start for Complexity when he already had the site control. Yeah, it just allows it just allows so much time for for Liquid to get into the position. But now, I mean, you see with that with that plant going down, there's no armor investment. There's some upgraded pistols, a couple flashbangs. So complexity, really. I mean, they're they're looking to do some damage, looking to get obviously a nice headshot with that deagle would have been great. Not going to happen. Elise shuts that down. But they want to do some damage and maybe get close to getting the bomb planted. At the moment, though, that info Nitro falls without getting a kill. But I mean, he's got all the info. He knows exactly where they are. So there's going to be a quick flank coming in. Elise is already here, out in the open with this rifle, but he can hold off on this bomb site. Was that another pop flash? That missed from the T side, and there you go. That's going to be three easy kills from Elise, and we've seen it repeatedly so far. If that was actually a complexity flash to try to make it into the A bomb site, mm -hmm. it's a it's a team flash for them to try to execute every time. Yeah, that was thrown by Ape. Two of them uh, behind him are totally blinded, so he's blind moving in. His teammates can't come in to actually help him out, and it's just one for one uh, easily for uh, Elise, especially when you have no armor against uh, complexity. You just uh, mow them down quite easily. Yeah, and that's a little bit scary that Elise is off to to a pretty good start. And this is this is something even just watching them so far, just these first two. Uh, Liquid's not scared of any fights so far, and that, that's the big thing. It's heroic. They did seem a little bit passive. They seem a little bit hesitant. But here against Complexity, a team that they're going to feel like they should beat 10 out of 10 times, a team they play against very, very frequently, um, there's going to be no fear on this Liquid side. So look for aggressive fights. Look for confident peaks. We talked about aggressive t uh, aggressiveness from... Uh Liquid, Pim did it the round before, he's doing it again. The thing is, the advantage right now for Complexity is due to them losing that previous round with uh, with Team Liquid keeping five guys alive, then they actually still keep their submachine guns. So they do have the, the long range advantage for Complexity, so you see them play a little bit more passively, but at the same time, Liquid not playing it as aggressive by pushing like Nitro did up uh, at a main to start. Yeah, it's going to be much more delayed, much like this boost, and actually yeah. the timing's not going to be with him, and he looks away at the wrong moment. That's unfortunate, but still, everyone from Complexity is going to be over towards this A bomb site, and there's Ape with a nice kill onto Nitro, so that's one of the M4 down, and now the A bomb site is open, and this is where the SMGs are really going to be tough. Uh, Pimp that gamble with the UMP, the boost, that's not a bad idea, but now they're going to really, really struggle. Leech has to be able to find some picks before the SMGs get in, and actually at this point, he might consider saving, but that's not going to happen either. And there goes Eco. <laughs> All five survive for Complexity. That's right, and that is going to be a situation where uh, Liquid, well, I don't know, they might go for some sort of buy if they can uh, with some machine guns if they want to force it out. But with Complexity not losing any players at the same time, I don't know if it's going to be the smart move to go for it. I mean, you, you look at it, a couple of them were at 4,500, but you still have a liege at 1,600. And they're going to go for some sort of a pistol scout buy, actually. Yeah, just looking to do some damage, maybe salvage an AK-47. Uh, just a couple things that can give them hope, that can create some kind of a play that may be able to get them back into it, especially if Pimp can land a couple scout headshots. He's going to have that over towards middle, and it's going to be aggression towards door. There's a player in here, but they get flashed. Liquid, they're going to push forward into Ape. Does he have backup on the way? It is. Surreal's there, and Ape finds that first kill. He is traded off, but they can't salvage the weapon. That's right. Elise, you still have Surreal that's going to watch it. There you go. He protects it, so... That Elish falls, and it's going to be a four-on-three situation. Hiko close to that blue door. A little bit of a molly, both front and back of the uh, blue door to actually try to wash him out. 
Hiko staying out front, leans out. Android gets the pick, and now the A site is up for grabs, except for the long range from a Pimp with the scout. Gets the tag, no kill. JDM salvages now, and surprising enough that I was wondering why JDM wasn't the one with the scout to start. Probably because of the economy that they have across the board, so they wanted to keep it in the hands of Pimp to start. Pop flash for him, fully blinded. All of them are blinded again, but it's going to be Depth that gets the kill. I've actually I've actually noticed that as well. I mean, there are just some players, obviously, who, who like using the scout, some that don't. I, I think JDM's just one of those guys, while he's an opper, he doesn't really enjoy using the scout. So yeah. we, we see it, actually. I think Pimp actually is the one who uses, utilizes the scout when they go for that. So now, yeah, this round they're going to buy back into it. Elise is still going to be a little bit light. You can see he has the Famas, but good utility. There's the op out, M4s. The real issue is I believe there's only going to be one kit. That's going to be on Nitro. So they have good utility, and they have good arsenal, but just you know they need to be very, very careful how they handle retakes if it comes to that, if they're going to play a retake uh, strategy on the A bomb site. And it looks like they want to get aggressive outside of this B site. I want to get some information here, and it's going to be JDM with the pick. And he gets it as Uber falls down and he was alone there. The thing is, advantage so far is that three guys are at B. That's a weaker A bomb site. nobody at middle, but they have no idea where Liquid are actually set up, so they might walk into a trap themselves if it's well... Oh, uh, no, gets caught there. Nice play from Surreal. That's a missed smoke. So that's a mistake from the Liquid side, and now Nitro has so much to do. No one's even rotating until just now. There's so many bodies over at B. Nitro's got to be a hero here, and he's getting wrapped upon. I don't think he realizes it, but he does recover in time. More to do for Nitro, oh, and he boy. does. He gets one more. This is good playing from Nitro. Staying alive as long as possible. Buying so oh, much time. Way. And a third. And nothing complexity can do. Can flush Nitro out of position, and he's alive <laughs> this entire time. And he's got to be, yeah, the laughter's got to be just because how the hell did he live? Yeah. It started from that, right? One guy was pushing towards the quad, and everybody else just stayed towards the front of the site. Nobody went out for that trade. He did a great job for Nitro to just use the quad to his advantage, that obstacle there, and just flushed him out, even giving time for his teammates to rotate. I mean, he didn't need that much help, but... No, yeah, I mean, he, he didn't. Uh, it seemed like he would. He was in a very tough situation. Yeah. Uh, but using that box very, very well, and obviously bailed out by complexity, being a little bit too passive in that scenario. Also like the fact it gets lost in that excitement with Nitro, the you know, getting JDM involved early on in that round and getting him involved early on in this half with the AWP, having him push out B, having him go search for a pick, because on this map, with how with how mobile you can be as an opera, you can really exert dominance just by having success finding these picks. And then all of a sudden, if complexity is not gonna know where you're gonna be on the map, I mean just even the fact that you're doing it, you're having a good half is gonna be so difficult for them to manage because they have to be so cautious everywhere they go. Now in this round, Liquid back in the lead, 3-2, to two, but because of that third one win for Complexity, they have that economy built up still. So they are still looking healthy, up in the hands of Surreal, and are they leveraging him somewhere for a pick? And it looks like he's on that boost to start. Android also watching towards mid sides. They're slowly taking this mid control, trying to see if uh, they could catch Team Liquid being a little bit more antsy to try to get that information. But it's going to stay calm and quiet for now. They actually had the op on JDM's side, playing less aggressive, but in a good spot to also watch towards uh, B main. So they can't really get that much coverage so far for the terrorist side. Yeah, look at this defense that Liquid's had the past two rounds. It's pretty risky over towards the B site. They mm -hmm. have you know two two in checkers, essentially, and then they have a third in this B bomb site. So, I mean, perhaps they did see what, what uh, Complexity was doing to Heroic with those heavy, heavy B plays with four or five people, and they want to be prepared to stop that. They're waiting for Complexity to bring it out. It hasn't happened quite yet, and it might be something Complexity has to switch into because these defaults so far haven't been successful. That's right, and it's going to be Nitro inside the site one more time. Can he stay alive again? It's going to be now Complexity wrapping around towards the A-bomb site. He's still holding up the default spot, gets the first kill. It's Surreal is blind and trying to come back up, but it's traded out. is still there to help. Then Ape is moving up with Uber on highway. Now Pimp fully blinds uh, Uber and gets the kill, so it's going to be a three-on-two <laughs> situation with the bomb planet. Ape and Death, the last two remaining. Death set up now at quad. Ape stuck inside the site. Liquid moving up with JDM, all of them up towards highway, and they're going to wrap around the front side. Yeah, but this is such a huge position for Pimp to hold. He knows they're both cordoned in the bomb site, so, th so now it's up to complexity. They almost have to make a play at a certain point because Liquid's going to start retaking the site. They have two kits, and there's the... Oh, no, they get into a battle. Hiko can't complete it, and there it is. Now he swings out. He commits to the fight using all of this timer on the bomb, and it's well managed by Team Liquid. They're going to get their fourth. I hope our mics <laughs> caught that because... You know, you mentioned on the end that I think it was the second round that pop flash from a teammate blinds two of the complexity players. Well, yep. I think the same thing just occurred, and Uber was the one cut out blind at Electric Box. Uh, he shouted some obscenities. He was, yeah. he was less than pleased. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, and, and unfortunately, that that's the that seems to be the the weakness right now for complexity in this matchup. This is their map choice, but at the same time, the communication the communication is there, the idea is there, and they have the right site to hit. The only thing is, it's these flashes not working in their favor. It's hindering them more than uh, doing the role of the support. 
Well, the big thing as well is that actually their game against their game against Heroic is actually helping them out because Liquid's had such a lean towards the B bomb site for defense, and they've hit A a couple times. So they have the right idea in that sense as well. Mm -hmm. It just hasn't panned out and turned in. It's not converted into round wins. And now they're going to go back. This is that heavy B play coming through the smoke. But again, teammate flashes blind everyone. <laughs> and then Hiko and JDM, this is going to be easy for them. Nice. It's basically five, eight on zero. Yeah, five kills between the two of them. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not too shabby. And a flawless victory coming through. Elige with the MP9 uh, on that previous round. So they read the economy quite well for complexity at the same time. Uh, now the bonus money comes through at least for COL, where they could afford these AKs back. They don't want to have the AWP back in the hands of Surreal. So I'm wondering if uh, complexity are going to go back to this type of aggressive push as a team and uh, maybe f enforcing it more towards the A side as they noticed that Nitro's been playing it solo co for quite some time. Well, here it is. I mean, again, going towards JDM, it looks like he's going to be an aggressor. And at the moment, they have... Oh, that's a nice smoke, because the smoke actually comes through the walls a little bit to Blind Ape. That's got to be a little bit disorientating. Yeah, for sure. That's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> so is the pronunciation of that word. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I didn't expect to do that. I threw the smoke into the corner. I was wondering what that was for. And then, obviously, <laughs> you see the result of it when Ape is just like, I'm not going anywhere near this. <laughs> so complete control of A main for Team Liquid. That's right. Which is very, very nice in terms of the information it provides the defense. Now they could even put some sneaky positions uh, on the defense for Team Liquid on the CT side. At the same time, even spraying across just to try to make a bit of noise to keep a in his position if he can. Uh, meanwhile, for the rest of complexity, because of that though, because of this aggressive stack for Liquid to start, nobody's playing that mid, and Death has that control, and we've seen him do uh, some good things uh, taking this mid side, at least for information for the team to try to execute right after as a flanker. Yeah, the good point about Elyse being pushed up in A main as well, with the SMG, that gives him a little bit closer range, so it's not as much of a hindrance, and they can do a bait and switch with this AWP. Mm -hmm. Nitro's about to spot out Def. There's the kill from JDM. Nitro's seen it just yet. There it is. There's the damage on a Def. That's going to slow him down. Meanwhile, Elyse having success as well. Two kills with the SMG and pushing forward. Free AKs, free bonus money. That's a huge round for Liquid. That catapults them into a really strong position. NBD for some machine guns here for the counter-terrorist side. I mean, Elyse playing towards the locker room, got two kills, but that's also thanks from the op of JDM. They tried to push aggressively, or maybe just take the A side. Did not did not expect that JDM was going to be there with the op as well. He's been using it towards yep. the B side all the previous rounds, so they caught that, that they caught him. Uh, he caught them off guard, rather. And at the same time, Elyse comes out for a surprise, and then... Um, Nitro just did a good job on the highway with that pop flash to get those double kills in, uh, in the long range MP7. Yeah, didn't expect that kind of success from that range of the SMG. And now look, Liquid back to a retake at A. They know it's the full losing bonus for complexity. No reason for them to, to directly challenge this and you know risk giving up a gun. They're just going to be able to play retake, try and pick a couple off as they enter the site. There's good damage. There's a kill from Elyse. There's Nitro chiming in as well. He's going for more. He does eventually fall. Good damage dealt, though. But actually, Complexity is going to get a bomb plant, which, like I said, they have the full losing bonus, so it's not that big of a deal that they allow this plant to go down. That's right. And they only lose one player. Four kills for Elyse as well. He's having one hell of a match. <laughs> yeah, it'll be nice to see towards this freeze time what he's at right now uh, overall. But that was, what, a double kill before. Four kills this one, 15 and 5. Everyone over 10, I think everyone's like over 11k on the liquid side. There's a lot of money that, that Complexity has to burn through if they want to break this economy. So looking real, real good for Team Liquid. That's true, because it's not only him with the submachine guns uh, kills. You also have Nitro. Look at him. 14k, 13k. So and they, and they, and they both upgraded K. the free AK-47s out of that round. So they haven't had to spend money on a rifle in some time. So a very tough feat for Complexity to try to come back in this half. And they haven't so... Oh, actually, JDM's in a nice spot again. Catching one with not Molly in his hands. But at least they set up for the trade. This time, they're finally grouping up. And they say, let's just go for it. But they read it one more time for Liquid. But they lose the fight still. Android getting that second kill. And they're moving inside the B bomb site. But Pimp is still winning there inside Checkers. Another one already rotated inside the B bomb site. And also, the B is down out inside the B bomb site. So I think it was Android that moved in on his own there. And that's going to be even harder now for Complexity to try to get this round back. Yeah, Android expecting his teammates to follow up. But they were cut off by a Molotov. And this is that punish. This is that heavy B stack, even with Liquid losing two players, losing JDM and Hiko, Pimp being in the in the vents, yep. it's such a, such a quick recovery that they're not expecting whatsoever. So there's that stack that punishes this. And again, if JDM gets aggressive and finds that kill, now Complexity is going to be a little bit more hesitant when they do things like this. They're going to be a little bit worried about that peak from JDM. The advantage, at least now, for Complexity is they have the upper, hands, uh, the upper hand in terms of utility. So they still have flashes, they still have smokes if they want to use it for the CT spawn. Uh, and it's still a very passive play where they have nobody uh, towards the CT spawn. Actually, it's still an aggressive play for Liquid. They have uh, two guys inside the site deep. 
Uh, they have one that's trying to cut the, the Z-shaped flank, and that's going to be Nitro there. So a little bit of a weaker behold to start. First one have, are, has already fallen, but Nitro's already rotated on the top of Heaven. It's just going to be an easy hold there. Really yeah. well done from Liquid, making a lot of smart decisions here, playing that passive, especially once they have the bomb down. I mean, that, that was the real kicker. That could have been a dicey situation in a three-on-three, three, but knowing they had to bomb down, it's just stay in the site, protect it. If Complexity has to commit. Like, they have to, they have to devote themselves to that B bomb site. So very easy to just have Nitro rotate over and watch the flank from Connector. And Liquid is rolling at the moment. Eight to two. It's going to be AKs again. And you're right, I mean, Complexity hasn't gone back to bring that op out onto Surreal. They had it one round, and they just gave him time to find a pick in mid, but nothing really came from it. I know it's twice so far in this first half, but he got caught by GDM pushing outside the B main. Now he's back into a position where he's going to watch it towards the checkers. And you know what? Things are good for Liquid when GDM is not missing his shots. And as I say that, he misses the second one onto Uber inside Sunroom. At least he knows that one's there. So that nullifies another one, right? There's three guys where they don't know where they are. They have one pinch inside, uh, inside the Sunroom. Yeah, well, I mean, so they have one pick off. They know where one is, so now they know there's only, you know, there's only three on the other side of the map. And actually, Nitro's going to get caught out, and now he's in a dicey situation. He needs to wait for a pop flash from his teammate. There it is. That would have allowed him to get out, but he's going to use some utility, and he's waiting to commit to this fight. There's a good kill. Now his teammates here forcing him to fight in the Molotov. Alish coming just in time. The reinforcements are huge. And while Pimp falls in mid to Uber, there's nothing left for him to do. This defense holds strong yet again. I like it. Nitro playing towards the locker room. Elige playing inside the A bomb site deep. Nitro, they, they knew that if he was going to get spotted, he needed that flash coming out from Elige, and it wasn't going to be used from the fall back. It was going to be used from the peek back out and get the kill. And because of that, he baits out the shots towards the locker room. Elige comes into A main and just mows down the other two. So just a great double play from uh, from Liquid's A side. Well, and uh, Nitro does a great job of just shoulder peeking and just showing showing that he's willing to be aggressive to a certain degree. And that kind of freezes complexity from pushing up and swinging wide on him. That was kind of what they had to do before the reinforcements arrived. But, you know, they were worried that Nitro was just going to swing out. So they're trying to be cautious. And that's what buys the time. So yep. really, really good individual play from Nitro to allow Elige to come in with the teamwork. So this puts us now at 9-2 to two on the scoreline for Liquid, where they're pretty much on a close 16k at this point now. I don't know if you want to even call a timeout on complexity side. Would you, or do you just want to try to keep it towards the end of the map? You're only allowed one per map. Yeah, I mean, you kind of that. have to, don't you? Like, if you're getting steamrolled like this, especially considering the fact that they don't, it's not, they're not even having, they're not even getting close to bomb sites at the moment, and they're not even getting a lot of kills. So yep. you have to make some kind of a fundamental change to be able to string rounds together. It's not just about getting one. You need to get multiple on the board against just a very, very very strong economy. So complexity, they're very close to just being out of this already. They kind of just want to stop it as well. If you don't have anything to talk about, at least just stop the momentum from Liquid side. At least it starts well. Android gets the first kill right now onto Pimp. And when they played against G2 this morning, when they actually got this first pick on Cash, they were able to capitalize it into a round uh, win. So let's see if they could do the same thing now for against Team Liquid. So far, it's Elish at the forklift. Stops it, and a nice flash to come through. Gets a double kill and a bomb down. And things are looking grim once again for Complexity on a three on two. Ape trying to battle it back, but a nice Sinner grenade. He can't do anything right now that they're both stuck inside the site. And it's the Bermuda Triangle pretty much for the CT side. Nice pop flash at least for Android to get that kill. Evening up the, uh, at least a tally in terms of a two on two. Now a two uh, one on one rather as a trade comes from, uh, from both sides. So Hiko versus Android. Spot it now. Android down to 11 HP. And that's going to delay the time a little bit for a plant as he uh, threw a nade through. Actually, he didn't even pick up the bomb for Android's side. Yeah, I mean, he couldn't get all the way over. Hiko dinked him immediately, so he just had to fall back, and Hiko's just outplaying him. And that round again from Elise, just playing so well in this match. He knows he has to get aggressive. The pop flash from JDM comes in, he gets one kill and just pushes forward. It was beautifully done, and that's what stops the bomb. This is what really slowed down the tactic, because that A bomb site was about to be lost. Complexity, that was a very deadly hit, especially once Pimp fell, because they didn't have the information, they didn't have the manpower. And now Hiko just with a straight up outplay of Android in this one on one, yeah. And and he's and now he's smoked off. And this is this <laughs> round's already over. So I mean, no reason to even really fight for it. Just fall away, get the AWP. I mean, that's the best you can do. So Hiko using his brain this time to yeah. win rounds. That's right. Unfortunate ring around the rosy and the the idea was there for Android to try to pick him off towards that Z side as well, but did not expect such a passive play from Hiko, somebody who who's known to usually just want to go get those frags, right? Well, it, it also I mean the reason Hiko can make that kind of a passive play is because he he dinks he dinks Android in that initial fight, so he he knows that you know it's going to be he's, he's kind of put him in his place. There's not a whole lot of options. He can't just take a straight up duel, so he knows it's going to have to be some kind of out positioning that Android uses to win it. So Hiko just plays the same game and finds the right angle. It's really really well done. 
All back in the hands of Surreal. Going with a small armor, not many utilities to work with as they've depleted whatever they had towards the quad side. Looking back towards the forklift, Uber at least gets the opener. It's traded up back by Elysian side the side, who's still on fire. And finally, Android kills him. Six up the bomb. On fire. Yeah. There's Moses casting. Yeah, there's that as well. <laughs> uh, Molotov on the ground is going to prevent this plant. Now Pimps here, JDM's here. The one advantage or the one nice thing for complexity in this round is that they're going against a double op setup. It's going to be tough for the retake, especially if Hiko goes down. So. As long as they don't overcommit and expose themselves to these AWPs, they should be okay for the moment. Two players stuck in quad. There is a Molotov that can be used, and it comes out, and it's going to force the stack away. They know there are two players here now. And as they, the, the flames actually spread out, they had to peek out, and both of them fall down instantly. At least they got the bomb plant. The defuse is going to come through. It's going to be 11 to 2. And yes, because of that boost, they expected two guys there. So you just post them up towards the highway side, have one guy towards, come towards the front. Nothing more you could do, unfortunately, on complexity side. This is uh, this is looking like a very coordinated, compl or, I mean, a very coordinated team, Liquid. And, uh, and obviously, it, it helps when they're playing a complexity versus playing a heroic. But this is yep. this is the kind of play so you wish they would have brought to that heroic matchup that might have allowed them to have a little bit of a better chance against that team. So looking good here on Cash, 11 to two. We still haven't seen that timeout. And, and the rounds are kind of dwindling away. Complexity, if they want if they want a chance, I mean, two rounds is not enough going into the second half. At all. And they need to capitalize on the last two. The advantage now is they got the bomb plan and the bonus money, so they could go for full AKs and utilities as well. But you could see that confidence coming through from the CT side one more time. I mean, look at this. Nitro's pushed all the way out towards A main. He spots a guy. Not only that, he's still playing at solo. Nobody's going there to support him. So if he dies, it's an A side open, but they're confident enough, confident enough to play the retake. They're stacking a lot of guys towards mid, but they've already lost uh, Elige to start, and that's been a key player that they needed to stop uh, in this first half. Oh, that's a good nade, though. Def is brought down very low. So is Android. Android not too low, but he does take a good amount of damage, and there's a pop flash. Liquid just loves being aggressive at the moment, and they've been punished for it this round at least. There goes Nitro, so it's a three on five. And now a situation where you can see the kind of thought process. They put an op in each bomb site, and they put Hiko right in the middle of the swing position. So these ops have got to do work. There's going to have to be heroic somewhere for Team Liquid. And it all depends on where Complexity is going to choose to end up. And it looks like they want to re reconvene back towards this B bomb site. And unfortunately, it's being read very well. I mean, that's also what JDM is, where if you expect someone to do some heroics with the AWP, it's going to be JDM. And we mentioned it, right? He hasn't been missing. We're under 40 seconds on this round. As Uber is going to be uh, relying on him to try to get the entry right now. He's going to try to carry his team on his shoulders. And they do have a smoke to work with for the, the CT spawn, but they're just going for the body peak, and it's going to be JDM getting the first pick quite easy. Misses the second one, looking for some support. Here comes Hiko moving in from a CT spawn. Uber at least gets the kill, and it's, that's a good smoke at least. Sort of. But that's going to give him a chance to get a plant. Eco then coming in on the other side of the smoke as the bomb is now planted. Pimp is on our rotation as well. He's also coming in from the CT spawn, waiting for the mollies to dissipate. And the advantage now is that there's nothing left for complexity to work with in terms of utilities. Uber at least is able to capitalize on another, on another kill. Pimp's going to be on his own, missing the 5-7. And the other one's just dancing around the bomb site. Ape is going to come across to get the kill. Oh, uh, that's not that's a nice try from Hiko coming through that smoke. I mean, th that smoke fades. Unfortunately, he didn't have very much time to make a play there, and just nothing prevented itself to him. So, a good round for complexity. The opening two picks looked great, and from there, they did something very, very smart. They actually had Ape on the other side of the map over at the Ape bomb site, and he threw just a very weak fake, but it's enough. In a, in a five on three, you don't need to really commit too much. He just throws the nade, and that pulls Hiko all the way up towards truck just for just for like four or five seconds. But that pulls him away from being able to support and slow things down and help out JDM during that hit. So that's what that's what definitely sealed that round for complexity. One more round to go here in this first half. Starts off well with complexity. We said that we needed they needed to win the last two rounds. They start off with one. But interesting enough is that they're actually boosting Def instead to, uh, to try to get the pick instead of an op battle at Z. And he pays the price. Pimp wins it. And he was offered it from the Z side. He's going to rotate back towards the uh, A site and leave a liege to play middle on his own. So now who creates something for complexity? Who's going to be the next one up to get this fourth round? That would be huge if they're able to do it. Still spread out, no one in any kind of a position. And complexity really didn't fall into what may, gave them success against Heroic. Maybe it's because they never had the economy low, so they didn't feel like those tactics would work. Maybe it's something that was, that was heavily based on how many nades and, and how much utility the opposing team could have. But they never really fell in line with those, those heavy hits towards the bomb sites and just commits right off the bat. Mm -hmm. When they did, it was JDM to find one pick when they tried to set that kind of a play up. So 
really nicely done from Liquid to throw complexity off their game. Big Nade now is going to put Surreal down to 45 as the rest of them decide to actually unleash towards the A bomb site, and it works. They get two kills, two entries from Android at Z to take control of mid and wrap up towards the A side. Gets a third kill right now, and he's coming up big for complexity, leaving JDM the last man standing now. Three versus one. He at least wants to stop Android's. Rampage, and he misses the first one. Android at this point is almost looking for a quad kill. And unfortunately, it's going to be Surreal that steals it. Yeah, what a round from Android. I mean, it didn't seem like they had too many opportunities. He was alone in mid as well, I think. And then all of a sudden, he just rattles off three kills. So that's that's a huge performance from him. So he becomes the creator in that situation, bails him out of a tough spot, and they at least they at least get four. They at least Unfortunately, get no opportunities for GDM on trying to get that kill on two. Uh, Android, but nonetheless, it is going to be a lend of four in the first half. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, the second half between Complexity and also Liquid. There we go. Back here at a Northern Arena presented by Bell here in Montreal, and we're looking at the scoreboard after the first half. It looks like we have Complexity and Team Liquid. Nailed it. Thankfully, I could read. <laughs> uh, but look at it. Elige, we talked about how much of a key player he's been in this first half. 131 ADR, 102 for Nitro. That A bomb side pretty much was yeah. uh, unstoppable. But even then, even JDM's only at 58, but he's played some key rounds holding the up on the B side. He wasn't good for retakes, but he was amazing to actually keep uh, complexity from getting anything done at B. I mean, he, he, listen, they did their job with the opera, and this was probably the best I've seen Liquid do in terms of utilizing JDM and getting him involved because mm. he doesn't need to have a high volume of frags. Obviously, when you have Elige going off like this, um, um, with 24 kills, which is doubling up everyone on his team, that that's huge. So, I mean, obviously, there's only going to be so many left over for JDM, but the fact that he's able to get a couple picks early in this half, the fact that they use him to put Elyse into a safe position, then use him as a bait-and-switch setup over towards A main, Elyse gets two kills off that. So, that's I mean, right. just his presence as an offer, that's huge what they've been able to do with him. So that's that's really nice to see out of Team Liquid. Um, and obviously, Liquid's at their best when Elyse and Nitro are lighting up the scoreboard. Nitro doesn't have the amount of kills, but he's got over 100 ADR as well. And now, look, this is going to be complexity pushing out towards the B bomb sites. So they have a ton of information. And now they can rotate back. The question is, is I mean, Liquid obviously doesn't know this is going on, but when is this hit going to come in? Well, maybe a little bit too late because you've rotated everybody back towards the A bomb site. And you already have now actually them even positioned inside A instead of having to play the retake. And it starts off well. Surreal gets the first shot onto Hiko uh, at the A main. Pinto on that flank, moving up on the highway. Even in on a four versus four, Surreal then trades it back onto JDM. We have a big flank coming through from Uber. But look at that, they're moving down the highway side. They're trying to move with the bomb as well if they could. But now the bomb is down towards the A bomb site. Another kill from Pimp, moving in from Z. It's a two versus two, Uber is lit. Yeah, and this is big. I mean, Uber's in such a tough spot. Nade comes out. There's the kill from Nitro. Now it's just surreal. Smart play from Pimp. The repositioning might just win this round. Liquid looked like they were out of it. It was a good stack for complexity, but surreal has got to hit some nice shots, and it's not going to happen. Pimp perhaps saves the day. His push through connector coming around and just backstabbing a couple players is absolutely massive for Liquid to get into the site. That's how both pistol rounds going their way. Definitely, and you needed some other players from Complexity to step up. I mean, Surreal already had three kills. If he had those last two kills, it was going to be an ace clutch. And you need a little bit more from your team to actually get that. I mean, it started off so well towards the end of the half when they won the last two rounds, but then suddenly everything just falls back uh, in shambles for Complexity side, unfortunately. I mean, they, they had four people at this A bomb site. That, that should have been a solid hold. Yeah. Good start into this round. Surreal sticks around a little bit too long, and he's going to get taken out by Pimp. But Android has a one dig. He's got an opening kill. Two players here. When does Pimp make his move? He's distracted Android. And actually, JDM not being aggressive with that, with that MAC-10. And now Android just runs out of bullets. So swinging in Liquid's favor. The rotation is here. Uber just arrives. In time to look at a smoke. Oh, there's a big crack in this. He can actually do something. He gets a kill. It's into a two on two. So still a possibility. And Uber has a kit. That's right. Jason likes big cracks, and it's a two versus two. They're going to get a bomb plant here for B main. And it's uh, courtesy there of Nitro. But they're still set up quite easily here for Complexity's side to prevent any type of rotations uh, from B main. But it's going to be both Depp and Uber moving in from Heaven and the CT spawn. Already one has fallen. Last one easily picked off by Pimp. It's now going to be 13 to 4 for Team Liquid. And no money really to work with now for uh, for Complexity's side, you know? Yeah, they, they, they don't have, I mean, 
They invested a little bit into those pistols, not not too much, just trying to see if they can do something. But obviously, with with that kind of a tactic, this first gun round is going to be like they have to win it because Liquid. I mean, all opportunities, all chances, and all advantages to get up towards 14 to four, and then it's going to have to be some kind of a massive run from the complexity oh, yeah. side on their CT. Um, so a lot rests on this opening gun round and what they can do here, or if Liquid's going to run into some danger. We'll see if they will run into this stranger danger, but so far it's going to stay calm. They're clearing out mid to start, and they expect... or they see nothing there towards mid side, so they expect now a stack, whether it be towards A or B. We'll soon find out. They're pinching back up, and that's going to possibly clear everything out. Now at this point, they're going to flock out like ants. Spread out like ants here, and then it's going to be a liege getting two kills. But traded that by Uber and Android. Now they overtake the site. Android has an AK-47 in his hands at Z. He's about to get pushed down from a white truck, and that's going to be him one more time. Catches him, kills him. It's 14 to 4. And you mentioned here, Moses, I mean, this gunfight not only has to be crucial for complexity, but as soon as they lose a round, they have a potential to be reset with a map point for Liquid. Yeah, not only do they have to win, but they have to win very convincingly. They need to establish this economy early on if they're going to make any kind of a comeback, if they even want to, like, the dream of, of making a comeback. Uh, and then this is a tough situation. Even if they do that, if you look at the way Elysia is playing at 27 and 13, I mean, these are the games. This is why, I mean, Liquid always talks about it. If, if, if Elysia's going nuts, if he's having himself a game, like, it's very, very difficult to beat Elysia, even if you're, even if, I mean, beat, beat Liquid, even if you're, you know, top 10 team in the world. We've seen him, at, you know, take back to New York. He was incredible there. So with him and having this type of a game, it's going to be tough no matter what. And actually, even Def gets caught out a little bit, but he does it just in time. There goes Hiko, but two players caught over at Forklift. Elige, of course, who else with two kills? <laughs> JDM going to wrap around the site, and it's going to be Elige the third. So, I mean, just as we say it, single-handedly wins this round. You know, you don't want to play for the tie at this point, so Ape and Android will have to try to go for the retake. They have utilities to work with, but already four of them gone as Android falls and then Ape falls. Map point for Team Liquid. And man, Elysia is a machine right now. Well, I mean, we talk, we've mentioned, you know, before in, in death segments and in broadcasts how, like, you know, yeah, he goes uh, new in game leader. He's never really had to do it. Having some struggles, obviously, kind of adjusting to that role. It gets much easier when you have a liege can just walk out a main and get three kills. We also have to remember, by the way, this is, this is Complexity's map pick. Yes. And it doesn't start off too well for them. No. Both pistols lost. Uh, 4 to 15, obviously. Elise has got 30 kills. Uh, nothing really going right for Complexity. Def's going to try and make a creative play behind this smoke. But this is all desperation. And he might actually even just get one kill. There's Elise. That's at least a good find. He's going to get more. The move into that SMG. And he almost gets three. Pimp's brought down low, but a good advantage found by Def. 28 HP remaining for Pimp. Def getting two kills, doing his part. And Complexity now trying to stay alive in this round. Nitro moving in with Hiko as well. As they try to clear out the A-bomb site. Losing that fight to Ape inside A with a UMP. Very low buy for Complexity, of course, because they had nothing to work with, but it works in their favor. The advantage right now is they're getting kills with these submachine guns. So it's going to bring the economy back. We might be able to see some higher firepower moving into the next round. Hiko now in a three versus one. I'm saying like as if he might not be able to clutch it, but he won't, unfortunately. And it's going to be 15 to five. Yeah, still always danger. You know, Hiko, well known as, as one of the best clutches we, we've had in North America. I've seen him consistently win those one on threes. This time it's not going to work out. But still, I mean, there's just too many ways that Liquid can win this. It's going to be 15 to 5. It's got to be 10 straight for complexity just to tie, not even to win. And I mean, at the very least, they've got Liquid in a situation where Nitro and Hiko are going to be sitting at $0. So at least, you know, if they can win this one, maybe Liquid just says we have a big enough lead to just stick back on pistols for a while, rebuild that money, mm -hmm. uh, good for a solid buy. It's going to be Elise just running out here blinded, doing a little bit of a flash dance, but Surreal trying to use the flash to his advantage. But no, it's going to be Elise. Another entry kill for him. Pop flash, three guys blinded. He manages to get one. At least the key player getting down to 12 HP. Uber getting one onto Nitro. With that nade, <laughs> it lands right behind him. Thankfully, he doesn't damage him. Two mollies to force him out, and they're trying to come out towards A main. Going for the pre-fired shot, but unfortunately did not see him. A couple of teammate flashes coming through as well, but they're going to hold it for a bit for, uh, for Team Liquid's side. Big flashes coming through. Everybody's blinded, and you know what? Let's just stop using flashes this round. I mean, Liquid's <laughs> been quiet. They're out of this B bomb site, but they haven't really given up that indication. So Ape and uh, Ape and Android are making sure. Thankfully, Uber's holding strong in this site. JDM still hasn't been able to get involved with this AWP. There goes Pip, but JDM now. There's a good connection. He knows where the other one is. He has Ape trapped against the wall, and this is going to be some patience. And actually, 
Ape's not peeking, and maybe JDM doesn't know he's there. Looked like he's gonna pick up the bomb, and I think he does now know. Yeah, oh, yeah definitely yeah, spots yeah. the elbow now, and he's gonna get it. The reactions, no shot is baited out until it's gonna connect. Nice one on two from JDM, and that's gonna be the 16 to five win. Yeah, big win, big victory. So good that it cracked my voice. But, <laughs> yeah, strong, very, very strong performance there for uh, Team Liquid on that. So